Hi folks, today I'm going to show you my best tackle for flounder fishing, so stay tuned! The first thing I normally do when I'm planning a new tackle, that I sketch it down on the drawing board first. I use a piece of paper or a drawing board like this to make a sketch of the rig. And I'm going to show you how I'm thinking on this uh, flounder rig. Uh, up here uh, you have the attachment for a uh, main line from, uh, from the reel. And down here you have the upper, uh, upper line and that we have attached an upper hook that will fish up in the water. And we have a boom going down here. And we have a weight that will pull the whole tackle down to the bottom. And we have the back line that goes out here. Uh, on the back line I have drawn two hooks. I'm going to make two hooks on this one. But you can have multiple different sizes and uh, variation of hooks here. Uh, I normally use two different sizes or three different sizes. Just, just to catch a variation of fish and um, big and small species. I also like to find everything I need before I get started so I know that I have uh, every part and uh, that makes the whole job much easier. Since this is a flounder tackle we are using small hooks, we are using owner hooks and they are bait holders, number 6 and number 8. We are using the 6 as the first hook on the line, then we are using an 8 and over the boom we are using a number 6 again. The line we are using is a Trillian uh, Mono clear line in a size 0.46 mm. The hook is attached and uh, I used a normal fishing, hook, uh, fishing knot and you can use the, any knot that you know. If you like what you see so far guys please give this video a like so others also can see it. After attaching the knot I am using a little rubber tube like this, just to put it over the eye of the hook. Here you can see the rubber tube over the hook. Now we are going to attach some beads and we are going to attach a spinner blade. Here you can see the setup with the beads on the lower hook. It's a, it's a fluorescent green bead uh, closest to the hook and we use two white and a pink um, bead or two white and one pink bead then a spinner blade and another uh, fluorescent green um, green bead. So now we are going to take the next hook. So this here is the second hook. Uh, this here is the main hook or the bottom hook and this here is the second hook. This is a size 8. We have attached that to the main line with a surgeon knot and we have glued it with super glue just to be safe. Uh, this, uh, this is an 8 uh, hook as I said and we have used a little rubber tube just to uh, secure the knot on the hook. And we got two beads, one red and one fluorescent uh, green. And now it's time to put on the boom. Now the boom is on place. We have uh, attached it with uh, you can see down here is the end of the line where we put on the two hooks. And here we have used a line stopper and like this and a bead so the bead will go all the way down and stop in line stopper and the boom can then slide if the fish bites the boom can slide and it will stop there and we still have the whole tackle hanging here and we also have a line stopper here and a bead that the boom will stop in and that makes that when the fish bite on the hook the boom will glide up and down the line between those two line stoppers so the fish won't feel any resistance when it uh, first bites. Then we will make a strike and if you're lucky we got a flounder. And now it's time to uh, put on the upper hook. So, so now I also have attached the upper hook uh, it's attached with a surgeon knot, that one also. And we have used a hook size number 6 as we did on the um, bottom hook. And we used a rubber tube just to secure the knot on the hook. And we used a fluorescent uh, green beam and a red beam. So that's it, we have secured it and we now also have trim the line to the length that we want and we have uh, put on a attachment for the main line. 
So the total of this line now is maybe 1.5 meters. And here you can see the whole setup. We have the bottom hook here with the spin blade and all the beams. We have the smaller hook that is attached to the down line. And we have the rig going up here. That slides maybe 20 centimeters uh, on the line. So when the fish bites on this or this hook, they won't feel any pressure and you can make a strike. And up we go, we have a line going here, up to a upper hook, that is also a hook number six. And we got the attachment to the main line up there. So this here is my complete setup for fishing flounder and I hope you guys will try it out and leave a comment and see what you or tell me what you think. So guys that was it that was my complete tackle for fishing flounder hope you liked it and consider subscribing if you are uh, wanting to see more of these things and I uh, hope you see you next time bye